So I mentioned in my last speculation map video that I wouldn't really be making these every time Horror Night Nightmares drops a speculation map will consider me wrong because we have a lot to talk about with Halloween Horror Nights 2023 speculation map 2. They dropped both the Orlando and Hollywood versions. I'm not forgetting you Hollywood fans. And I thought we'd just take a look at the speculation map, talk about what could be coming to the event, talk about what are the changes from speculation map 1. But I want to say one more thing. This is all speculation. These houses could be at the event. They could not be at the event. Just because they made it from one speculation map to another does not mean they're confirmed for the event until Universal confirms them and I think we're getting a new announcement coming soon but regardless this is all speculation don't get married to these ideas because they may not show up this year so because I'm an Orlando boy I want to first talk about the Orlando speculation map and there's a lot of new stuff here starting with the first house location in the bottom left Demon Slayer now, I am really interested with this property. I'm not a big Demon Slayer fan, I'm not really a huge anime fan in general, but I think this is interesting as the possible first real anime to come to Halloween Horror Nights in America. We've seen Demon Slayer promoted at Universal Studios Japan for quite a while, and I think it would be really unique to bring that property over to America. We did have the Japanese Creatures rumored house at the last speculation map, so this could be what that Japanese house was referring to. You're gonna have people on the fence almost like the weekend from last year, but this could be something really cool. Now moving up to house location number two, we have the Exorcist Believer. Now this is not the first time the Exorcist has come to Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando. We did have the original 1973 classic at the event a few years back, and this would be based off the David Gordon Green reboot called The Exorcist Believer. Now this is really interesting as the movie was just given a formal title and synopsis recently at CinemaCon just a couple days ago. and David Gordon and Green has made it known that he's trying something new here and I think Universal might be trying to back him up by putting the Exorcist at the event but I think the Exorcist believer is pretty likely a lot of people have been talking about the Exorcist being rumored for HHN 23 even before speculation maps came out and this would be another pretty solid IP uh, really depending on the response to the film itself if the movie is popular uh, I think it would be really good to have this at the event to sort of back that up or if this is a Halloween end situation I think this might fall flat um, but only only time will tell when it comes to The Exorcist. Next over here where we had Halloween last year, we have Chucky. Uh, not surprising, obviously Chucky's been confirmed for the event. Not much to say on that, but just above Chucky over here back where Fiesta de Chupacabras was last year, we have a church symbol with a pentagram sort of situation. And this is our first original house. And all of the original houses on these two maps are marked with symbols and images rather than names. On that first speculation map, we got more of a clue as to what exactly would be coming to the originals this year but here we just have a picture of a church and sort of pentagram symbol I'm not exactly sure what that could be that kind of looks almost like something like an exorcist deal but this seems like this could be something all new and uh, I don't really have much to say here because there's nothing really leading me in a certain direction with this one and moving on from there we have our next house which is where Demons Pier HHN Icons Captured was last year which is a dragon and a castle I know medieval houses have been wanted by a lot of people including myself at the event for quite a while medieval theming really lends itself well to really gory gruesome atmosphere i mean look at something like game of thrones or vikings i think it could be really well uh worked into a horror night's house uh, and this one if it does make it through could be really really promising as a solid original that one i'm really hoping makes it and up ahead we have our first rumored scare zone being naughty dog the last of us now i'm going to do a little quick spoiler the last of us has a house location and a scare zone location on this map. Now, The Last of Us was on the last speculation map. It was actually on a map last year as well. Of course, a lot of people were thinking this is going to be based on the very, very popular HBO show, but this specifically says Naughty Dog, The Last of Us, specifying it's based on the game instead, which is really, really interesting. Just like we're getting our first little taste of anime at the event with Demon Slayer, we could be getting a little taste of video games also at the event. Of course, we've had them in the past, but not for quite a while. And I think The Last of Us will make a great scare zone, especially in New York. We've had zombies in New York with Zombie Land Double Tap. And I would be really happy to see a IP based scare zone because we haven't gotten those in the last couple years. The scare zones have been all originals. And while I love originals, 
I think having one IP based scare zone, especially when we have a house later on down the lineup, could be really interesting in reinforcing both of those ideas. Now up in the Fast and Furious location, we have a house marked Top Secret, and we've been seeing with the originals that they all are marked with a star, this one's not marked with a star, meaning this is quite possibly an IP. Now a lot of people were wondering if this is going to be the next Horrors of Blumhouse, considering the Horrors of Blumhouse took place in this location last year. However, there's an IP property that I think could be coming to this area that I think is really interesting and one that a lot of people have been talking about considering the new upcoming release date of this Blumhouse movie, I'm talking about Five Nights at Freddy's. I was surprised to see no mention of it on this map considering the hype surrounding the movie and the release date of October 27, 2023, and I think this could be the top secret IP they're saving for the event. Not a lot of people say why put the haunted house out uh, around the same time or before the movie actually comes out. And we kind of saw this answered with Naughty Dog's Last of Us. This could be a house based on the video game rather than the movie, which the video game's been out for like a decade now. But I'm pretty curious, it's still pretty top secret, so I'm not sure what's going on back there, but we have been seeing construction back there, so we know something's happening. We have another unknown scare zone, we have the Return of Nightmare Fuel, which we all already pretty much knew, and then we have a circus tent with a large puff of smoke above it. Now this one is really, really interesting. I don't think this has anything to do with like Jack or Chance, just because they like to save those for the big anniversary years. This is in a tent so I'm not thinking this is gonna be something super super grand or anything however this location really looks like the men in black location which would be really interesting to sort of see a return to the men in black location we've been seeing construction in that area recently a lot of people have been wondering whether it's for horror nights or just in general and I think this could be for horror nights so whatever goes here will be really interesting it'll be exciting to return to the men in black location if this is the location they're going for possibly for a circus house experience I'm pretty into it. Moving on from there, we have both sprung tents here, uh, one of them being The Last of Us. I already kind of talked about that. I think this is gonna be a great idea, but here we also have the most thought-provoking original for me, just simply a devil in one of the sprung tents. And I think this can mean a few things. On the last speculation map, we had devil dogs, and I know a lot of people have been saying, buddy, devil dogs is not happening. I'm holding out hope. Maybe this could signal devil dogs coming back to a sprung tent. We had Slaughter Cinema in the sprung tent, so maybe this could be the spiritual successor of Slaughter Cinema, spinoff, whatever. I want Slaughter Cinema too, so I'm really going to be hoping for that. But I have a few other ideas if it's not that. Uh, we had the rumored Crossroads Robert Johnson themed haunted house uh, that has come out uh, sort of out of the rumor mill about a fictionalized version of the story of Robert Johnson where he allegedly sold his soul to the devil to become a fantastic blues musician and uh, that's something that is really interesting I think that has a lot of potential to be a stand out original um, it really gets me excited if that does end up coming into fruition and considering the devil's role in that story considering we have a picture of a devil here I think this could be a very interesting translation of that tale or and I think this is the biggest reach out of all of these I think this could be maybe one of the Boris Schuster stories expanded into house form. Of course, going back to Slaughter Cinema, we've seen it with Slaughter Cinema where, where one of the stories in the anthology becomes its own haunted house, and we had that devil figure in Case Files on Earth, so maybe this could be the expanded story from that book by Boris Schuster. Who knows what it is? This one really excites me though, um, possibly the most out of all the other originals. And finally, we have one of the parade buildings being used for Universal Studios Monsters Paris, which is really interesting we got that at the hollywood speculation map and we also had a universal monsters house in the orlando speculation map the original one and uh that was you know the phantom dracula possibly hunchback of notre dame um all sort of facing off or meeting in paris uh, so i think we get some really fantastic sets out of this this seems really consistent i think this will be the first one they announce if this is true usually they announce the universal monsters houses pretty early on because that is an in-house ip and then we also have our second scare zone here the Central Park Scare Zone being Holidays, most likely referencing Holidays in Hell, which is a house rumored for HHN Hollywood this year. Holidays in Hell was already at HHN Hollywood, and I mentioned in a past video talking about Christmas houses that I would like to see some form of Holidays in Hell, sort of twisted take on Holidays, and of course we also had Krampus on that first Orlando speculation map, which is a twisted version of Christmas. So this could be that idea of twisting a holiday legends and holiday myths into uh, 
uh, something scary. And finally, we have another show marked where the ghoulish Marathon of Mayhem shows have been. A lot of people were wondering whether they were going to use the Lagoon for a show. I'm really hoping they do, just because I love the Lagoon shows. Marathon of Mayhem 2019 was an all-time classic. Marathon of Mayhem 2021 was also pretty great. And Ghoulish, while it wasn't as good as the other two, definitely had its moments. I think they can do a lot with the Lagoon shows here. And uh, I would really be sad to see them go, especially with them sort of tinkering around with the new Universal, uh, just general nighttime show. Maybe they can incorporate some of those new effects into whatever spooky nighttime Lagoon show they bring to Halloween Horror Nights this year. Um, I think that could be really, really interesting. So that's all for Orlando. Let's move on quickly, quickly to Hollywood speculation map. Not a lot of differences from Orlando's, but some that I think are still worth talking about. We have The Last of Us. We have The Exorcist Believer. We have the top secret IP. But we also have an owl for what I'm suspecting is an original. I know in uh, the Orlando map, it was more specified. What's an original? What's an IP? Here it's not. I know the Nightingales were rumored for Hollywood's event this year. And you know, the Nightingales kind of take the form of birds and owl is a bird. So this could be the version of Nightingales we see at the event this year. We also have in the up in the top Demon Slayer Holidays in Hell. So I kind of mentioned Holidays in Hell in the Orlando segment, but this would be sort of a sequel house to the Holidays in Hell house from 2019. We have no confirmed scare zones. We have a show and of course we have the Death Eaters. That's all pretty customary. Death Eaters are already confirmed from Universal Studios Hollywood. And we also have Chucky, Universal Studios Monster Paris. However, the last little bit I wanted to talk about was Terror Tram Celebrities. Now this was on the first Hollywood speculation map and this is pretty much one for one than what we have here. So I think this is really interesting and something I think is going to continue into the event. Seeing Terror Tram Celebrities here really gives me a lot of ideas of what this could be. Obviously they could use real celebrities. I've heard some people talk about that, that they could be using twisted versions of real celebrities. Of course you are in Hollywood, you do have that Hollywood history. I think it would be really great um, for that park, but I think they could also take a more fictional approach with this and sort of make this a spiritual sequel to Vanity Ball over in HHN Orlando, HHN 29, that scare zone. I think that one really dealt with the twisted fashion industry, and I think this could be something similar with maybe the movie star industry or maybe the fashion industry, um, sort of taking that idea, making it a little more of an original, uh, but leaning into that for the terror tram could be really, really interesting, and I think it is something that's going to continue into the event or have some minor modifications. I don't think this is going to change a whole, whole lot, especially as we've seen it move from speculation map one to two so yeah that's all we really got this was kind of a long-winded video here but i wanted to share my raw uncut thoughts my reactions to this new speculation map i'm really really excited obviously us horror nights fans have been patiently 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 waiting or maybe impatiently waiting for a new announcement from universal as to what could be coming to this year's event and if any of this makes it to the event, I think we have a pretty solid thing running. Of course, we know Chucky's coming, so if anything, Chucky is going to be there. But all the other stuff I think is really, really neat, possibly seeing some anime inclusion, possibly seeing some video game inclusion, possibly seeing some top secret inclusions. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What do you think of these speculation maps? What do you think could be coming to Halloween Horror Nights 2023, Halloween Horror Nights 32? Are you an East Coaster? Go to Orlando. Are you West Coaster? Go to Hollywood. I know I got some West Coast followers too. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, want to see more Halloween Horror Nights news, updates, history, deep dives, anything like that, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And finally, I want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope you have a great one and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.